The first step is putting on eye cream. A little bit of eye cream will make the corrector really smooth. The reason we use corrector under concealer is to just really brighten under the eye and actually gives the eyes a lift. I'm starting with light peach corrector. Goes under the eyes, gets rid of the redness, any kind of discoloration. Apply it on the inner corner of the eye. Use your finger to gently tap to blend it in. The way to choose the right color corrector for you is if you are very fair, go with the bisky shades, a warmer skin tone, use the peach. For women in the middle, a peach bisque, which is what I personally use and works really well. And you know you have the right color when you can actually see the darkness brighten up under the eye and the discolorations go away. So that is corrector. Next is concealer. Concealer is one shade lighter than your foundation. Its job is to lighten and blend into the skin. It's best when it's applied over the corrector and goes under the eye on the inner corner to lighten and close to the lashes. The magic also with the concealer is the yellow powder that comes with it. The yellow powder locks the color in place, keeps it smooth, keeps it on long, and really blends it into the skin. And a bonus is you could use the powder on the eyelid to smooth the lid out, get rid of excess oil, and take out any kind of redness. I'm gonna show you how to find the right foundation that looks like you're not wearing anything, but you have even beautiful skin. Try on the side of the face, and the trick is to find what disappears into your skin. If it's too yellow, it's too dark. So that one is too dark, this one is too light, and I believe this one is right. That is the right color. Now, let me show you how easy it is. You could start around your nose, just throw it on. The great thing about the stick is you could either spot it or you could put it on your whole face. Blend it. You could use your fingers or you could use the brush. But look at how it gets rid of the redness. And you can also actually blend it down by putting a moisturizer on top of it, which is a trick that a lot of women don't know, but a lot of the makeup artists always do it. And at the end, it's always good to use your hands and you could really make it look like skin. Powder is the best way to even out your skin, keep your makeup fresh, have it last longer. You could apply it with a puff or with the brush. And what the powder does, takes away the shine but doesn't make your skin look dry or feel dry or ashy. We also make a beautiful illuminating powder. And the illuminating powder will even out your skin, but will give gorgeous illumination. And there's a little bit of color to it, so it really restores your skin to looking so incredibly natural. Bronzer is a miracle. Bronzer is great to look like you've just been away. The Bahamas, my favorite place. I'm gonna start down under her neck and I'm gonna make sure that the neck is going to blend in with the face, okay? And then you could sweep it where the sun naturally hits. So the apple of the cheek, okay? A little bit on the nose, which is so cute. And then I use it to tint the skin, to really blend it in. I love to enhance your cheeks and I don't want to paint in anything artificial but I wanna give you a healthy glow. But then I'm gonna use a little bit of illuminating bronzer. And so this has a little bit of pink, smile for a sec. It's not a blush, but it just gives you this really nice flush on the cheek. Look how pretty that is, and that makes your eyes look really green. Brows really frame the face. It's about filling in your brow and making sure it's the right shape for your face. I like to brush up the brow first to see the brow, and then I gently fill it in. And I like to use light, feathery strokes. And I like to use a color that's not too dark, but really matches the hair of the eyebrow. When applying, start at the head of the brow, where it's often thinner than the rest of the brow, and that you're going less when you get to the end. For women that have over-tweezed their brows, you need to fill in and sometimes use a deeper color. If you over apply the product, you could use a spoolie to gently brush it through. Look what a difference. Looks natural, looks strong, and it really frames her face. Eye-opening mascara, we call it OMG because it's awesome. And the way to apply the mascara, because it is a very strong formula, is to really carefully separate the lashes as you're putting it on. And the great news is you could layer it. I don't like when mascara is clumpy. 
I like when mascara is well separated and really opens up the eye. It makes your lashes so intense, natural curl. It really does look like you've done false lashes. And I'm gonna show you intensifying long wear mascara. This is like a raincoat for your lashes. You could apply this on top of any formula. It's the same black color, but what I really love about this little teeny brush, it gets every little lash. You wouldn't wanna use the eye opening on the bottom, it's too much. This one is perfect because it gets every little lash and looks beautiful. Gel liner. I love it because it's easy to apply. I'm gonna use the Espresso, and this is how you do it. You start as close to the lashes as possible, and just keep in mind that when you're doing liner, you can always add more. So I always start thin, and that way you get really close to the lashes. You want no separation. You never line halfway. Make sure you go corner to corner, thick around the outside, and it gradually gets thinner on the inside and that really gives some great definition. So I'm now using the black, and if you layer two colors, it's an instant way to go out in the evening and just really intensifies it. And just when you think she can't look any better, let me show you how to add a couple special things that will take you from day to a party. First, I'm gonna add a little bit of color, a little bit of blush, smile. The way to apply blush, the apple of the cheek. This is the anti-contour. It just highlights the beautiful cheeks that you have and just adds such pretty color. Then, this is highlighting powder and what it does is it gives you illumination. And I'm choosing a little bronzy one so it also gives you a little bit of color. This one is the Pink Glow, which really just gives you that illumination. You always see the celebrities on the red carpet. I use this a lot when I do their makeup. And with this look, you can add a little bit of sparkle. This is called Silver Moon. My sparkle is incredible because it is thicker cuts of pigment and it, you can either apply it with your finger, with a brush, apply it on the inner corner. It looks like you're wearing beautiful chandelier earrings on your eyes. And then for your lips, you don't need a lot. This is not when you would be wearing a red lipstick, but this is from Nourishing Lip, one of my favorite colors called Blush. So natural, lippy color, feels good, good for any dry. And then I'm gonna add one of my favorites, which is Bare Sparkle. And let me show you how beautiful you look. What do you think? Looks good, yeah. You look like a cool princess. Yes, good to go out. 